Intrigue. Enter a world of wonder. In the trenches deep and dark, a fearsome beast did make its mark. A dragon fierce, with breath of fire, turned the battlefield to pyre. With scorching heat and fiery roar, the dragon's wrath did quickly soar, reducing all within its path, to ashes in its aftermath. Throughout the sanguinary battles of World War I, there existed a weapon that struck terror in the hearts of foes, the incandescent fire that consumed everything in its path. It was the terrifying flamethrower, a mobile inferno borne upon the back of a trained and specialized soldier. The flamethrower evoked both amazement and fear simultaneously. The soldier operating it needed to bear a container filled with combustible fuel, like gasoline or tar, and a gaseous propellant for the purpose of expelling the fuel powerfully through the tube. To prolong the combustion duration, tar was added to gasoline or replaced as the fuel entirely. A lightweight and effective weapon, it could burn all who stood before it mercilessly. Behind this invention stood several inventors throughout the ages, including German engineer Richard Fiedler, who presented his innovative model to the German army in the early 20th century, impressing them with its power and effectiveness. In spite of its benefits, utilizing this weapon demanded comprehensive training and expertise, given the immense difficulty in managing the flames and aiming them with precision. The flamethrower made a notable impact in many critical confrontations during World War I, especially in the battles of Verdun and the Somme. One cannot discuss this weapon without addressing the horrifying effects it had on soldiers, affecting them both mentally and physically. It is impossible to mention this weapon without referring to its appalling impact on soldiers, both psychologically and physically. When this weapon ignited flames in battles, it created a terrifying sound and a foul odor that permeated the air, instilling fear and panic among the enemies. Soldiers were left with severe burns, suffering intense pain and grave injuries that hindered their movement and scorched their skin. This caused them to lose hope in combat and affected their ability to continue in battle. Consequently, the terrifying flamethrower was not just an ordinary weapon, it posed a genuine challenge to the soldiers who faced it in battles. It threatened their lives and health, leaving a permanent mark on their minds and bodies. Therefore, it is essential to remember this lethal weapon and learn from its history to prevent the use of such horrifying arms in the future, striving for a world that is more peaceful and respectful of human dignity. Imagine a legendary being gracefully gliding through the sky, casting a formidable shadow over all who behold it, and instilling terror in the hearts of soldiers below. This being is none other than Zeppelin, the colossal airship that ruled the skies. Its creator, Ferdinand von Zeppelin, was a passionate mechanical engineer and inventor dedicated to the development of aviation. He launched the first experimental flight of his airship in 1900. During World War I, the German military used Zeppelins for reconnaissance and bombing missions. The Zeppelins varied in size, with the smallest model being Zeppelin LZ-23. It had a crew of 18 people and was 156 meters long with a maximum diameter of 14.9 meters. The airship was powered by three Maybach CX six-cylinder water-cooled inline piston engines, with each engine generating 130 kilowatts of power. It had a maximum speed of 72 km per hour and a range of 1,900 km. The LZ-72 was a larger model, crew, 17 to 19, length, 198 meters, diameter, 23.9 meters maximum, power plant, 5 times Maybach HS Lu 6-cylinder water-cooled inline piston engines, 180 kW each, maximum speed, 103 km per hour, range, 7,400 km at 81 km per hour, armament, machine guns in hulltop positions and gondolas, up to 60 bombs to a total of 5,000 kg. The largest Zeppelin used in combat was the LZ-104, also known as the L-59. Crew, 21 personnel, including officers, engineers, mechanics, and observers. Length, 226.5 meters. Diameter, 23.9 meters maximum. Power plant, 6 times Maybach diesel engines, 240 horsepower each. Maximum speed, 
103 km per hour. Range, 7,400 km. Armament, machine guns in hulltop positions and gondolas, up to 4,000 kg of bombs. The Zeppelin participated in many important battles during the First World War, with the most notable being the bombing of London. On May 31, 1915, the LZ-38 airship conducted the first-ever bombing raid on the British capital. When the LZ-38 airship arrived in London during its attack on the city, the people felt terror and panic. The airship flew high in the sky and dropped bombs on the city, causing chaos and devastation. Eyewitnesses described the attack as extremely terrifying, with bombs falling from the sky like lightning and exploding with tremendous force, leaving behind destructive effects and instilling fear in the hearts of the people. After the attack, it was discovered that the LZ-38 airship had been shot down near the town of Harwich, south of London, and the bodies of the crew were found in the surrounding area. Well, not everything that is massive is mighty. The Zeppelin, for all its size and armaments, proved to be a vulnerable and easily targeted prey for enemy aircraft, achieving little in actual wartime success. However, as a tool of terror, it played upon the psychological strings of those below, instilling fear and trepidation in the hearts of all who beheld its behemoth presence. Throughout history, the annals of warfare have been rich with various forms of power and majesty. From the giant dinosaurs of myth to the colossal elephants used by the kings of the east in their wars, these mighty creatures embodied strength and awe in ancient battles. But imagine for a moment, what if humans could create their own beast? A monster of steel and fire, unstoppable and terrifying to their enemies? This was no longer a mere fantasy, as in 1916 a new monster was born. It was not made of flesh and blood, but of steel and fire. A monster made by the hands of man himself, as the Mark I tank made its first appearance on the battlefield during World War I. The Iron Beast, developed by a team of British engineers led by Major Walter Gordon Wilson and naval engineer Ernest Swinton, represented the final answer to the gruesome battles fought in the trenches and rugged terrain. This first tank was 8 meters long and weighed over 28 tons. The Mark I tank crew consisted of eight members, including the driver, assistant, for operators of the main and secondary guns, and the tank commander who controlled the steering and drove the tank on the field. The Mark I tank was equipped with two 6-inch machine guns and a 57mm gun, as well as a 7.92mm machine gun capable of carrying 820 rounds. It relied on a 12mm thick steel armor, making it an invincible war machine. The Mark I tank participated in many battles during World War I, including the Battle of the Somme, the Battle of fleurs corselet the Battle of Cambrai, and the Battle of the Soma, among others. It is clear that the appearance of the Mark I tank caused fear and shock in the minds of German soldiers, as they felt horror and fear when they saw it for the first time in the Battle of fleurs corselet in September 1916. This was not an unusual reaction, as the tank left a strong impression on soldiers who believed they were facing a steel monster moving towards them relentlessly. However, as is the case with all new things, the Mark I tank was not without its flaws. It faced problems with control and reliability, and the conditions inside were harsh due to heat, noise, stray bullets, and enemy fire. Its limited speed and little control, as well as the need for frequent maintenance, were factors that reduced its effectiveness in some cases. It was also not immune to all types of weapons, as heavy German shells could penetrate the steel armor of the tank, making the crew inside vulnerable to danger. Despite these difficulties, British soldiers showed exceptional courage and endurance, and the Mark I tank paved the way for later developments in tank technology. The impact of the Mark I tank still extends to this day, as its design and techniques form the basis of modern tanks developed all over the world. It is also considered an engineering masterpiece, where multiple technologies and ideas were integrated into its design, encouraging tremendous development in tank design and manufacturing.
Thus, the Mark I tank remains a landmark in the history of warfare, proving its ability to transform the approach to battles and shape the future of wars. It will remain engraved in human memory as the first iron monster created by human hands. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our channel now to enjoy exciting and diverse video content.